Nothing moves the blob. Hey, welcome back everyone. Toys is here and I'm back yet again with yet another Marvel video. It's been a while since we really looked at Marvel Legends, especially an X-Men villain, right? So we got this brand new blubber butt of a uh, action figure, which I'm stoked on. We have Marvel's the Blob, part of the Marvel X-Men 60 year anniversary. It's got really nice old school artwork on the side of the box. And then on the other side, you get some photography of said figure. This guy's going to clock in at about uh, 8.34 inches, which is a nice size for the blob. Doesn't really come with that many accessories, but we'll talk about more on that later. Now, if you were wondering, my figure came in from Entertainment Earth. If you're interested, I'll have links down below, which will give you 10% off all in-stock items and free shipping on orders over 59 bucks. If you've never used Entertainment Earth, I use them myself, so I highly recommend them. They're always really good. They ship nice. And for the most part, if you pre-order with them, they tend to get stuff more so earlier than most sites. Just saying. Not always, but sometimes. So if you wanted to get the blob, and even though the blob says it's not in stock right now, I ordered it. And it showed up less than a week later. So I was stoked on that. So again, if you are interested, you can get 10% off with my links down in the description below. The item has to be in stock. It's not off pre-orders. Sorry about that. But uh, regardless of pre-orders are in stock, if you spend over 59 bucks, you can use the code or it just kind of implements it itself. You get free shipping on your order. So again, go and check them out. Guarantee you'll find something there that you like. So uh, let's get back to the figure because this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Hasbro Marvel Legends straight from the 60th anniversary of the X-Men, Marvel's The Blob. Now, as I previously stated, we get a big old box for a big old blob, which is nice to see. So here's everything out of the packaging. But I'll tell you right off the bat, it's a little bit lackluster in terms of accessories for the blob, right? So you get extra hands for the blob. Nice, expressive extra hands, which I do appreciate. These are a lot of fun as opposed to just fisted hands. The seams on them kind of go either which way. Got a lot of seams on the hands. They kind of stand out. The one thing is, though, you would think a character like the Blob would come with food or some kind of accessory for him to eat because he's got the perfect extra head portrait for it. But that's where super action stuff comes in. And you can use their accessories like a taco, right? The other accessory would have been a mace. Or reminiscing on the old X-Men, Uncanny X-Men, the arcade game, right? That would have been a nice packing because he has a hand for it. And there's really not a whole lot in the box. But regardless, he does come with the hands to hold said items. And I do really appreciate that they painted it and they gave him freckles. It's kind of creepy the way the figure looks. It kind of looks like realistic skin. They did a good job with that. The extra head portrait is more of the snarling, screaming face for the blob. And I totally dig that, because then also you could have him be the eating, the foods blob, right? Again, the skin looks great. He's got all the freckles, the teeth, the tongue. It's nicely painted. Got no problems with his extra head right there. And like I said, this is the expressive head. He's screaming, he's yelling, his big old gut is a rumbling. You can pose him nicely on your shelf. So I appreciate that. But then again, he has nothing to pose with if you don't have those other accessories. The more muted head is fantastic as well. It's a nice, normal head. Not too crazy, not too weird. He's just sitting there listening to Magneto's plans, right? Because that totally works. He's got the same freckles. He's got the hair. It looks nice. Totally appreciate this extra head. But the screaming head is where it's at. Now, right here, you can clearly see that uh, the skin goes all kinds of wild, right? Because he's got his big old shoulders and arms and he's big old flabby, right? On the backside, he's got all kinds of divots. I mean, it totally works. That's the Blob's body type, right? The freckles look good. The hands, you got some really cool patterns. Just kind of eh, brings out a little bit more sculpt instead of just being overly plain. But I do appreciate the way that they implemented that. It's not overly texturized. Up here on his shoulders, showing up on the camera, it kind of shows a lighter yellow to a darker yellow from the front to the back, which means you put the two pieces together and it actually is. Now I'll tell you, it won't immediately see it when you have it in hand, 
but it is something that I noticed, again, much like the hands with the seams and all that. Yeah, it's two different yellows right there on his shoulders. Down to his big gut, his big legs, his big clod hopper feet. I love it. I think that they did a great job on this blob, right? Also, you'll notice... He is completely pinless, so he's an updated figure. He's utilizing all that new technology, which I feel like they were kind of lagging on a little bit. You know what I mean? You kind of expect them to be there long ago. Plenty of articulation in his big old fat head. That's cool. The arms will go up. You get a lot of rotation. He's very easy to move around, but he's not stuck. You don't have to heat him up. He'll rotate at his single jointed elbows. You get nice upper moob diaphragm, right? So that's kind of cool. There's nothing at the waist, so he won't spin there. But the legs, he's got thigh, he's got single jointed knees. It's well hidden articulation. It's good for an action figure. I'm not going to complain about that. Now, I don't have the previous build a figure for the blob. I like that that one's a little bit more detailed out, right? But this one is more the simplistic, more of what I think of with the blob. I actually really like what they did here. It's simple. It goes with a lot more, as you'll clearly see in just a few. But overall, I'm very happy with the actual figure. The extra hands and whatnot are great. But that's where some extras would have come in. Some food. A mace. Or an extra part where you could remove his gut piece and have a punch hole. Something like that. Even on the back, you kind of see that. You could punch him in the back. Rogue's hand gets stuck in there, Wolverine's claws, he's got his big old blob butt. Sculpt is there, it's definitely there, but for the price point, there's really not a whole lot in the box. Now, when you do want to pose him with your other Brotherhood of Evil mutants, such as Avalanche, Toad, or Pyro, which I'll just say, Toad and Avalanche also came from Entertainment Earth, so you can get those as well if you'd like. Maybe wait for a sale on those, just saying. But yes, they all look great. I will tell you that. This particular blob can go with the X-Men, the animated series. The colors were a little bit different in the actual cartoon. But I would say it's close enough. Right? So we can just say that. And he just looks cool with X-Men animated. Also, if you wanted to say the pride of the X-Men, you could have him going up against Colossus. And Nightcrawler, ah, doesn't look too shabby at all. I totally dig that. But for me, in terms of what I think this blob works best as, is the Uncanny X-Men arcade game. And that's where I think the mace really would have come into play. Like, really cool if they would have included that. Just as a little nod, right? We know what they're doing. They know what we like. You get the idea. But the blob, this particular look for the blob, fits X-Men arcade beautifully. So you can have all the different characters if you've been collecting Marvel Legends for years and years. And now you're on your third or fifth versions of said characters, right? Well, your collection is going to look pretty darn good, right? The only one we're missing now is the Living Monolith, which Marvel Legends, yeah, that would be a great one to do. I'm just saying, really add to the whole X-Men arcade uh, experience. Even the Marvel 375 Sentinel, he looks good as one of the random baddies along with Bone Breakers, right? Multiple Bone Breakers. It's really cool for the X-Men arcade game. And also just to show you some scalature, if you're more of a fan of what Diamond Select is doing with Marvel Select, because the blob is a bigger figure, yeah, you can get away with more, even though Diamond Select scales that whole heck of a lot bigger than traditional Marvel Legends. But as you can see, Sabretooth, Magneto, he will go fairly well with that scaled type figures. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new Hasbro Marvel Legends X-Men 60th anniversary, The Blob. From X-Men Arcade to the comic books to X-Men the Animated Series, he can fit into multiple places. He has that more neutral type classic look of the blob, which I really appreciate it. But I will tell you this, he's going to run you about 56 bucks, which is kind of crazy if you think about it, considering we're getting really spoiled with what NECA does with their cartoon turtles, and they pack the box with all kinds of accessories. He's really lackluster on the accessories. He's a great figure, but I'm not stoked on what he comes with. But... In either case, you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything the blob. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, stay tuned. We got some more Marvel Legends X-Men to look at. When we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.